One Fakatoki that rang true through this whole thing was uh, Nga Takurodo, Nga Torodo, Kaurai, Tiwi. With my help, your help, we can get this mahi done. Kia ora e te whanau, ko tūbara toku ingoa, uri tēnei nō Waikato Tainui, ngā te maniopoto, a kaitau hoki. So a little bit about my kaupapa was that um, for the past nine weeks I've been doing a research into this freshwater clam and so essentially this kaupapa came into being after it was discovered and Fano Iwi Hapu wanted to mobilise and kind of um, learn more about it and see what we could do about it. A question from one of our kaitiaki in Mana Whenua. If the golden clam was to invade our waterways, the Waipa, would we be able to live with it? So from there, we came together as mana whenua and to nehe nehe nui and we discussed on um, possible methods to find out and learn as much as we could about this uh, golden clam along with other iwi of uh, Waikato Awa and that's where we come up with uh, an opportunity to work with Ngā Pai o Te Maramatanga to create an internship research project over the summer and that's where we met Tui. So how I got into the kaupapa was that I applied um, for the position through Ngā Pai o Te Maramatanga and uh, thankfully uh, acknowledged by Te Nihi Nihi Nui that they accepted my application and yeah, thus here I am. What we're hoping to get out of this research project is um, Tui's understanding of the kōrero that's been shared with him from Mana Whenua, from all stakeholders that have been part of this research project and so we will get the question answered, can we live with this clam if it was to invade our waters? And if not, then what do we do about it? So we wanted to know if this clam was a friend or a foe. E hoa, e hoa ririrane. Firstly, this species is a significant species that's going to bring some pretty detrimental impacts. A lot of the challenges has been the space in which this clam's in, the literature. It's primarily from a Eurocentric perspective and a dominated by Western knowledges. So I think just being an indigenous coming into this space is quite overwhelming because there's really no work done into it. But they cause a number of different issues from um, infrastructural issues to impacts to our native species to environmental issues and so I think from a te ao Māori perspective also is that um, they're, they're impacting and imposing on the things that we cherish and are part of our identity and our whakapapa. So I think it's evident some of the summaries in this report was that this approach in dealing with the clams is going to take a collective effort. It's going to require multiple stakeholders um, to really be involved in um, combating this. So from here onwards, further, further development into this needs to be done, especially in a te ao Māori perspective. The space of indigenous um, literature into this clam is lacking, so I think that's something moving forward that should be done. But then also uh, in regards to the actions that need to be taken and for all parties to work together, but also for um, the government, crowd industries to really acknowledge um, Tiwi Fano, Iwi, to take the lead in this and just empowering them to do so. And that's going to help inform us about the next decisions that we need to make, how we support other iwi around the motu and how we support mana whenua with their decisions. So I think the findings are is that knowing their impacts but then also knowing that this can only be done in a collective effort and so having all parties involved but then also having the input of iwi and whanau who are the experts into this in their tile take the lead. So. Yeah, it's about the actions we take now for our rangatira, for our pōpū. Um, we were really fortunate to meet Tui. He's from Nango Maniapoto. He's working in research on hauora, hauora o ngā tangata, but um, we've managed to pull him into hauora o te taiao and convincing him that the taiao and tangata hauora are one and the same. And so, he bought into that idea, he loved it, he's been amazing uh, with his enthusiasm and his um, natural 
intrigued for wanting to learn more. So he's what you would imagine to be a true Māori kairangahau. My supervisor, Tama Blackburn's been exceptional when it comes to giving me the space that I've needed. I think this um, internship for me also has been a huge learning experience, a connection also, being able to come back to Ngāti Manipoto, being a descendant from there too. So um, it's been awesome being able to learn the Mātauranga, learn from Rangatira, meet Fano, and um, connect with the whenua, so it's been pretty cool. One whakatauki that I would say that links to this kaupapa perfectly is nga tākūrauru, nga tōrauru, kaora ai te iwi. Enhance the Māori of Waiwaiā and protect the wai o mani a patūri. And that just reflects, you know, how we have to work together, how we have to help each other to overcome this, this species, this clam, and to, you know, find better solutions for ourselves.